Well, as you can hear in the background, I have the tumbler running a lot in my videos. And I finally finished some. So I thought I'd go through some of these. Here's a decent little piece of Brazilian agate. No, I, I don't go as crazy as Michigan Rocks and some of these other guys. I'm okay with a few little flaws as long as I get a decent polish. I think this is a piece of Tennessee agate. Another piece of Brazilian. It's got some good banding in it. It might be worth cutting that one, but that's all right. Here's a piece of Maury Mountain Moss Agate. Chunk of Montana Agate. Yeah, there might be dendrites in there, but I chose to tumble it. Another piece of Moss Agate. Here's some cut up chunks of Brazilian. Why, I have no idea. Maybe scraps from a sphere or something I was working on. Piece of dendritic agate. Piece of uh, polka dot agate. And piece of Brazilian. It's got some banding in there. Here's a chunk of petrified wood. Piece of the polka dot agate blue ice. Somebody in a previous comment asked about tumbling thunder eggs. Here's a part of a thunder egg that's been polished. Got some nice red moss in there. I don't know if I can get close or not. I believe this is a chunk of soda light. A quartz crystal. I think there's a few of those in here somewhere. Little piece of Botswana agate. I think that's just another piece of Brazilian. Here's a piece of Jasper. Now most of these will be given away to kids. Another piece of polka dot with obvious polka dots in there. Petrified wood. I believe this is a piece of Willow Creek Jasper. And I got a bucket over here that's full of them as well. I didn't want to dump everything out. I think there's actually... I thought that might be obsidian, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a little too shiny for obsidian in me. Another little piece of Montana. End cut off of Botswana. Some banding in there. Another piece of, I think this is Brazilian. Oh, helps if I have it on camera, doesn't it? Yeah, that's obsidian there, because I have problems with the edges.
little thin piece of Brazilian. Where'd you go? There you are. Could almost be a guitar pick, a little too thick. Oh, there's a, uh, this is Rocky Butte Picture Jasper. I think this is another piece of Tennessee, but I'm not positive. They all get mixed up together. I think this is a piece of uh, Labradorite, but there's no color in it to show anything. Piece of moss agate. Here's another quartz crystal. Pretty clear, actually. I think that's Brazilian. I thought it was tiger eye, which I did see a piece. Well, there's a decent piece of Botswana. Too bad about that fracture running through the middle of it, though. Not sure what this little agate is. A piece of uh, Graveyard Point Plume Agate. There's a little piece of Amethyst. Another little piece of amethyst. There's a piece of... Well, first I thought it was a venturing, but now I'm thinking it's a low-grade piece of chrysoprase, to be honest. I think this is zebra agate. Not sure what this little guy is. It's definitely got some crystals in there that are kind of pinkish. This is probably Gary Green, which now is called uh, Freedom Jasper. Not sure why, but somebody decided to claim it and change the name of it. Another piece of uh, Montana. Got some nice brown banding running through it. Here's a failed cabochon. Big chunk of it broke off, so I just tossed the form into the tumbler and let it do its thing. This one is kind of unusual. It didn't take a super good polish, but it's got nice banding. I think it's a Jasper. Although this little spot did take a pretty decent polish. So it's maybe it's a Jasper agate combination. Could be Imperial Jasper, I think. That's what I would guess. Another piece of petrified wood.
There's a chunk of blue forest petrified wood. You can see how it gets its name of blue forest. Oh, almost dropped it. That would have been bad. This is definitely Tennessee agate. Some kind of moss. Piece of petrified wood. This is some of that Brazilian uh, ribbon agate or something like that. Get it at Richardson's. There's a piece of uh, blue tiger eye, also known as hawk's eye. It's got the matrix on the back and decent chatoyance on the front. Another nice banded Botswana. Well, like I said, most of this stuff will be given away to the kids. We do Easter eggs and, and uh, the larger pieces will just go as they are. And the little ones will get put into Easter eggs. There's another, it's a slab of a uh, thunder egg. So I hope you've enjoyed my mediocre tumbling. Like I said, not as good as some of those other guys out there. Thanks and uh, appreciate you watching.